Right, welcome back everybody to South Portugal. Um, in this episode, we are going to demolish the cow pen here because we already transferred most of the cows over. I think I only have one left in here. So uh, let me put these. Oh, we have him. All right, so let's back up here. I'm going to demolish this building here. Let's see. Construction. Demolition. All right, so we get back 12 grand for that. And that's gone. That is no longer. So there's stuff that we can do over here. I am going to... Remove that as well. Because I have plans on putting that back over on the other field. So let's head over there. Um, actually, I think I need to pick up the trailer here. Get some um, get some TMR in. And transport the TMR over to new the new um, cow barn and all that kind of stuff. Let's see. Patch. Oh, we already have the TMR in here. I do all of that already. Yep, I think I did. Let's see if we're storing any TMR anywhere else. Um, oops, says we doesn't have. We don't have any. Uh, let's check the productions. So we should have some there. Yeah, we have 7,000 liters over there. All right, so, yeah, let's get the TMR over to the farm. To the other side of the farm, I should say. As well as this one cow that is remaining. And let's see what we can get on with. I think today I'm going to also plow that big field that we just purchased as well. Uh, actually, let me see if it needs any plowing. Let's see. It's already plowed. Has stone on there though, so we need to get rid of the stone. Alright, so that's something that we can take care of easily. And over on the next field over there, I think I'm gonna plant um grass in the sections that don't have wait, can I still plant grass? I don't think we can. I think we're out of the season for grass. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait until March. Alright, so we're going to have to do without the extra grass, but that's going to be our plan for that field. And in this field here, I think I'm probably going to do cotton or, um, I want to say maybe, I don't know, something, something different. I want to do a different crop this time. So let's get over here. Also, I found out why I lost the, um, the sheep previously. The trailer has a weird mechanism. If you look at the menu now to the top left. It gives you an animal menu without you even being close to the barn or anything, right? So, to show you what it changes to once you get close to the building or once you get into the building. Changes to animal dialogue now. So, that's, that's how I actually thought I transferred them over and I didn't, so I lost them. Get that there. Oh, wait. Is this milk? We already have sheep milk. That is crazy. That's crazy. Do we have any? We have wool. We have wool. That is crazy. All right, so good things going on right there. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm losing focus. Sorry, guys. But yeah, we have milk and we have some wool. I'm actually excited now. Let's get this door open get the uh, rest of the TMR in
right, so let's take a look at the cows and see. All right, so they have enough TMR. There's some milk being produced in there. Ah, straw. We need straw. So let's let's get some straw and um, do some. Let's get some straw. Add the straw to the the cow barn, and that should give them better productivity so they can produce more milk and they can reproduce i believe so let me get to that and then when we get back over here we're going to be looking at doing the slurry extension and the manure extension Ooh. All right, so there's another tractor here that is on sale. Uh, is this better than any? Let's see. Let's get it up to 175. All right, 175, and that's 48,000. At the front, that's going to be 50, that's 175 horsepower. Let me take a look at what ores or tractors are because I might be just purchasing myself a new tractor again. Well, not a new tractor, but you, you know what I mean. So that's 180, 190, 305. So this is still a better tractor than the one I'm about to purchase. I think I did upgrade this one. Um... Let's think about that for a bit. Let's, let's not lose track of what we were actually trying to do. Before I completely forget, um, I know I did demolish the um, the cow barn from over here, but before I did that, I actually took out the milk that was in there. So we have 11,000 liters of milk. I'm just going to get this sold right now as well. Um, not sure where has the best sell, the, the best sell, the best price. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to sell it here. I'm working on a very tight time constraint to get stuff done. Let's just move this truck out of the way. Start overloading milk. Alright, so 15 grand. That's not bad. Right, let's move on.
All right, so let's put the straw. Uh, yeah, I knew I was gonna do that. That's that's really bad driving there. All right. Is this not where the straw goes? Is it straw? It, it, it takes straw, right? Yeah, but it's not in here. Is it inside that part? We'll find out right now. Oh, oh, whoops. Again with the bad driving, man. All right, let's pull out of here. Too much, too much. Up oh, there we go. Um... So this is straw, right? Is it somewhere else that the straw goes? All right, so the slurry comes from there. Is it, right? That's where the slurry comes from? Yeah. I'm guessing that's where the milk comes from. But where do we put the straw? Here we go. Don't hit the top, don't hit the top, don't hit the top. Uh. Is that all the strike took? No, I think it's because of how I was tipping it, so hit back. Backside low. Let's try this. There we go. I should take all of this straw. And then hopefully that increases slurry and milk production. What I should actually take a look at is the um, type of cows that we have hit in here. Bread for dairy. Bread for dairy. Dairy. It's the only one we have that's not bred for dairy, so I'm gonna probably sell those too. All right. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and put the um the manure extension in. So we need silo extensions. This one. So it is next to a coal barn. So can it not work? Or, oh, it does work. But I have to put it like back here. All right, that's where it's going. Uh, that was probably not the best place for it. But yeah, that's fine. Let's leave that there. Right, let's head back over and um, actually let's close up the doors. Alright, so got that taken care of uh you know we have wool and milk being produced does it show as being stored or is it not showed as being stored it actually does okay so it doesn't show the wool does it show 
actually don't think it is showing the, the actual the, the milk i think that milk is probably in my silo I'm actually not seeing so is it a different milk is it like not sheep milk it's just milk yeah i need to go investigate that i need to see if it says sheep milk or I actually i can just see it here can't i it just says milk that's all it says all right let's head back over and um Get the plowing started on the new field. Not the plowing. I don't know why I said plowing. Get the um, the stones pulled off the new field. Alright, so... <clears throat> I made a decision. I'm going to buy tractor and again guys if you see that the money has gone up it is because we've been selling the coffee and other things from the farm so that's the reason why i sold was it four loads was it three nines 27 so three i think three loads of ninety thousand each basically um also returned the forest header that i had and uh purchased that one because it was on sale in the um what you call that in the oh in the store on discount so got that as well uh basically now we're just running through the stones on the new field that we have uh getting it ready for january because i do believe that i'm gonna go for um i think it's gonna be cotton i'm gonna go for on that field and then get some more growing off the the, gra <clears throat> the grass on both of those fields and um see where we can get with some more money uh, i do believe that i'm gonna have enough money to purchase the big farm which is the aim and then see where we go from there contracts is what we need so maybe if we're buying out all the stuff all the fields then we'll mo we won't have contracts but we'll see where it goes so let's just you know get on with what we were doing we need to clean up the farm definitely as well all right, so I'm expanding my, what you call that now, my, um, my fencing around my land. That's because, um, let's see right there, it's fine.
All right, so there must be a. Let's see. Spending quite a lot of money doing this, but I don't really. Um, it's just it's not necessary. I just I like the aesthetics of it. All right, so doing major work on the farm, um, la not landscaping, but changing up how things look. As you saw previously, I did. I was putting in um, fence, a new layout of fence around the farm since we actually purchased more fields. So let's see if we can see it. We actually stopped here for now, but we're going to continue around. Actually, I don't even think we need to continue around the back part there. Um... I'll probably just fence it off towards the main road there on that side. And um, we came up this way. I did put a gate in here just, you know, just, just, you know, just because. I'm, I am going to actually delete a couple fences from here. Because this is my route up to the store. And, yeah. Fence goes all the way up. And down the back side of the farm right there. It's just kind of like, you know, blocking off where everything is for us versus the rest of the map. So, yeah, just, you know, getting rid of the inside fence here. Opening up the, um, open up the. All right, good to go. All right, so most of the, well, most of where we need on the land is actually blocked off. Uh, I'm going to leave there as is because, you know, there's no roads. And yeah, that's where we are. Um, let's go see what this guy is doing. Wasting my money, that's what he's doing. All right, so we have good progression on this on this field so far. Rock's gone. Uh, we're December 2. So we still have a little bit of time before before um we need to do some planting. January is when we're going to have to do... Didn't I just do that part of the field? January is when we're going to have to do the, um, the planting because can't do any planting in December basically. So let me see what this guy missed. And come, come year two, I think, as as January hits, I'm going to turn on Precision Farming, which is going to change the dynamic of how the game is played. I've never used it before. That's going to be something new. All right, where did you miss? 
the same place I just did. How do you how Sometimes you really just have to do the job yourself. It's, it's the only way it works. And I do notice that it is getting darker rather quickly. I mean, it's what's that? Three thirty almost, and it it seems like I do need my lights on. So yeah, winter is here for sure. All right, that's done. All right, so I, you know, like I said, we the field is basically prepped and ready for when we um when we need to plant the field and like i, I think it's going to be cotton that i'm going to be doing in this first field here um the other two fields are going to be grass as well as like i stated the the rest of the field over there surrounding the animal pens gonna also be grass um let me see if i can actually just put a gate in here just like a small fence uh, a small fence looking gate thingy it's a gate and that's a gate can i put one in here I don't get it. The land is... <laughs> Alright, let's just leave that as is. I guess I don't own the land. Alright. Um... Alright, so let's see what there is left to do around the farm. Contracts are non-existent. I'm guessing it's going to be starting up back in January. So basically right now is the... Let's see what's going on for the animals. We don't have that much milk. Do we have any milk from them? Not much, nor much wool. But yeah, um, it's the it's the coffee and stuff, the produce, the um, production plants that's keeping us afloat for now, while the contracts aren't going on. Um, for whatever reason, this is just saying harvested. It's not saying growing. Not sure what's going on there. This feels so much better. I have so much more space. And then up here where the where the um the cow shed used to sit, I think I might put a shed here for storage. I think that's what's gonna end up happening. So um we can just take a quick look at that while we're doing all the construction we're doing. It's a sheds. What kind do I have over here? Just a metal shed, right? That's way too big and that cost is like really crazy. Let me let me figure out the shed situation um, and bring you guys back in. I like these. I, these are these are just open. 
or this one. Um, I'd like to see what it. Oh, okay. I like this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Place it right there. All right. So let's go take a look at what it looks like. Yeah, but we need to terraform this a bit. That's going to be an issue. All right, so let's go to landscaping. Can I get in here? And let's do... Is that even doing anything? Let's see what that looks like now. All right. So that is a whole lot better. Yes, this is a nice size shed. It has lights. Oh, there we go. That's cool. All right. So we could put some equipment in there and um, tidy up the place a bit more. But we're looking good. It's 4 o'clock. It's December 2. We're getting into January here pretty soon. So, um, yeah. I think that's enough for me cleaning up the um, not cleaning up the farm, but doing expansions and having you guys in. So I'm gonna just uh, end the episode here. If you guys did like the episode, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to be notified each time I post a video, please go ahead and subscribe. No, that doesn't make sense. All right. All right. So I think I've bored you guys enough now with all the you know work around the farm in, ter in terms of putting up the fences and stuff like that. Uh, there's not much else left to do so what I'm gonna do is end the video here if you guys did like the video please go ahead and hit the like button if you want to stay up to date with us going on please go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to be notified each time I post a video hit the bell beside the subscribe button if you have any tips comments suggestions please leave them below and I'll get back to each and every one of you guys thank you guys for watching thank you guys for your support